I think fundamentally it's the shift between understanding that recruitment and talent acquisition are not the same thing, right? So when most people talk about talent acquisition, what they really mean is recruitment. But recruitment is essentially the process by which you manage an application once it's received. And if we put that into a Singapore lens, only 20% of the talent pool is looking. It's an extremely kind of a short market. And therefore, you can't rely on the old ways of recruitment to actually hire people. So when people talk about talent acquisition in the, the traditional recruiting sense, it's very much around, well, somebody applies, we screen a CV, we arrange an interview, and then we make an offer um, and do some reference checking or onboarding with that. But now what talent acquisition is supposed to be is the strategic acquisition of talent, talent acquisition. And so now there's a shift away from, you know, most of managing the process because the process can be automated to a large degree now. I'm, in fact, I'm about to implement an AI tool that is gonna um, automatically schedule all interviews via a robot. And so it comes down to how do we actually acquire the talent in the first place? So if we have a vacancy, well, who's decided that the vacancy is valid? So the manager may want X, but do we know that talent's available? Is it in that budget? Is that, does that capability actually exist? And so talent acquisition are playing the role in the beginning of actually helping with business planning, uh, workforce planning, in terms of there's what we want, but actually what we may be able to get. Therefore, how do we actually structure that in the very beginning? And then playing uh, almost an internal coach and advisor role with the business throughout that process. Are we interviewing in the right way? Are we assessing on capability or just on this is what X used to do uh, previously? And how that, does that align to where we're actually going as an organization? And I think most people still don't understand how talent acquisition can do that, but that's very much what's changed and the firms that are certainly not struggling as much in the war on talent, that is the key difference. Mm -hmm.